Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, May 19th, 2019. I got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a try. You click on the link below the video and you get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Anybody else you choose over at DocSports.com, you can use it with them also, the other handicappers over at the site. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. It's basically a trial run and a real cool way to do it. Free $60 account. And again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. All right, recap of yesterday. I had a losing day. Let's just come right out with it. Uh, we lost a seven-star play in Major League Baseball. We had the Mets. We got what we wanted out of our pitcher. Uh, but boy, Pablo Lopez just got it done for the Miami Marlins. His pitch count was low throughout his time on the mound on, on Saturday. And he, he just didn't allow the Mets to get anything going. So it happens sometimes. Unfortunately, hate when the big plays lose, especially. And that was the case yesterday uh, with the New York Mets going down to defeat. Overall, just three and five on Saturday. We came in with sweeps the previous two days. Uh, we had a two and one day in UFC. We hit the five unit there. We had a one and two day in the Preakness. Real quick note about the Preakness. It did bring back uh, some old stories. I was too young to recall them, but I heard the story so much. Much, I felt like I was there. You saw yesterday uh, when one of the horses dumped its rider at the start. John Velasquez, a, a world-class Hall of Fame jockey, uh, kind of not ready to go. Had his feet out of the stirrups and you saw what happened when that horse decided to buck coming out of the gate. Was kind of being held up by an assistant starter and uh, then you saw what happened. Velasquez ends up on his rear end on the dirt and uh, the horse is gets a, a did not finish. I know a lot of people at the books in Vegas were rooting for the horse horse to actually finish in the money, but uh, the official uh, term obviously is that the horse DNF or did not finish if it doesn't finish a race with a jockey, but it kind of reminded me of a story I've heard a million times. I kind of mentioned on these videos as we headed into the Kentucky Derby a couple of weeks ago about my uncle Robert Mundorf being a world-class jockey in the 50s, 60s, and finally retired in the early 70s, uh, but there was a time when he ran at Exarbon, and uh, this was kind of towards the end of of his career. He had, he had been a jockey the year at Santa, excuse me, not at Santa Anita. He raced at Santa Anita, but jockey the year at Del Mar. Uh, but there was one particular race, I'm going to say around 1970 at Exarbon, and I heard this story a million times. And this is one of those reasons that I am a disciplined better and preach it. So my dad and my uncle going to the track bright and early as the sun's coming up at Exarbon in Omaha. And my dad basically bets uh, way too much on Bobby Mundorf, my uncle Bobby Mundorf's horse that he was riding that particular day. Guess what? And they're off. And that's exactly what Bobby did. He was off his ride and sitting on his keister right out of the starting gate for that particular race. And uh, I'll tell you what, again, it Pops he lost his money. I've heard the story so many times growing up that I knew you had to be a discipline better. If a, an assistant starter doesn't interfere uh, with a horse popping out of the gate and kicks its rider basically off its back, uh, then you, you lose your money if you're on that particular horse. And I know they were checking into it yesterday to see if the starter actually had his hands on the horse and caused a problem uh, because you can get your money back if that's what the stewards deem happened. But in the case with my dad and my uncle, he didn't get his money back and that was a big chunk of money to lose back then. And again, I heard that story over and over growing up and it made me a discipline better. Just a little insight into uh, what I was growing up with uh, in Omaha, Nebraska back in the day. Anyway, though, overall, not to make light of this. Again, we got a bounce back on Sunday after we lost on Saturday and, and that was disappointing because we had been so red hot. NBA, I've got NBA for Sunday. We are involved in the Eastern Conference Finals Game 3 clash between the Bucks and the Raptors. I do have this side posted at DocSports.com. It's available Sunday morning and uh, we'll look to extend our run of the NBA to 41 and 21 and uh, if we get the win on Sunday. So we've got the slam dunk on Sunday in the NBA. I'm in baseball action on Sunday. I've got one side for Sunday's card Again, it's an early play on Sunday, as most of them are. There's usually just one game uh, in the evening, and that's the case again this Sunday. So we've got an early side for you in baseball. We've got, and we're, we've hit four 
of our last five despite yesterday's loss. Uh, we've got the NBA. We're looking to go to 41 and 21 with our current run, about 66% against the spread. And the biggest play I have on Sunday is the Game 5 clash in San Jose between the Blues and the Sharks. It is a seven-unit, rare seven-unit play for us in the NHL. We had a six-unit last time out on the Blues. We got the win. We've got a seven-unit play going on Sunday. Game 5 in the NHL. It'll be available Sunday morning over at DocSports.com. And don't wait around because this game does face off at 3.08 p.m. Eastern, just after noon Pacific time. So go grab that on Sunday morning, DocSports.com. And hey, if you grab that $60 free account, if you're not yet a member, you can use those free 60 bucks on any of those daily packages. Going to get back to our NFL thumbnail sketches with Monday's video. We'll be talking a little bit more about the AFC South on Monday, but I want to get right to the uh, free pick for Sunday on this report. Again, daytime action. We're playing a total. We're playing the under between the Dodgers and the Reds. Your pitching matchup over you and Rourke in this one. And listen, if you look at what Ryu's doing right now, the lefty, I mean, he's just been spot on his last four starts. Over his last 37 and two-thirds innings pitch, the guy's got 40 strikeouts and only two walks. He's just been amazing with his control. I expect more of the same in this contest against the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, and as far as the Dodgers hitting is concerned, listen, every once in a while of late, they'll have a, a pop-up game where they'll score five or six runs. But if you look at their last eight games, they're only averaging about 3.4 runs per game. The Reds will send Tyler, uh, excuse me, Tanner Roark to the mound. And the thing about Roark, is he's been stranding base runners the last five times he's taken the bump at home those five opponents have scored a grand total of 14 runs or less than three runs per game he's really uh, shut down Turner and uh, Cody Bellinger listen I know 10 at bats is not a huge sample size but those two guys have not gotten a single hit off of Tanner Roark yet when they faced him the totals nine and a half they're playing at Great American so sometimes you get those totals that are juiced up a little bit but I think we're going to see an under here I like the under between the Dodgers and the Reds with Ryu and Roark taking the mound for their two respective teams in this particular matchup under between the Dodgers and the Reds on Sunday Monday. And again, when we return on Monday, I will have my next AFC South thumbnail sketch. We'll look to close out that particular division after talking about the Texans and the Colts with our first two thumbnail sketches in the AFC South. We'll also have a free pick for Monday and we'll get that video up no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time. All right, listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprintz for DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column right back here Monday morning.